All right, well, if you are hungry this morning, listen up. It's Friday, which means it is Foodie Friday. <laughs> it is Foodie Friday. It's Foodie Friday. <laughs> right. Foodie Friday, folks, is where we highlight restaurant chefs and a whole lot more throughout our area. WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson is live in the Star City. So, Hayes Marie, what's on the menu today? Uh, so much. I mean, I don't know if you can see this beautiful plate that we have going on, but it smells good. It looks good. We'll find out if it tastes good in just a moment. We're here at Cello Coffee House and uh, Cafe, and I'm here with owner Joe. Joe, what exactly is on the menu when it comes to uh, downtown Roanoke Restaurant Week? First, uh, good morning. Uh, for uh, downtown Restaurant Week, we have... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Something special going on, like three course meal, mm -hmm. and like it's got appetizer, a platter, a plus dessert. Uh, we are a Mediterranean food uh, cafe. Uh, we serve a Greek, Turkish, Lebanese, Jordanian, burrito, bagels, uh, international coffees, uh, varieties of baklava. Ice cream, smoothies, a lot of it, everything. Little, literally <laughs> everything you can think of or anything. Like, say you want something sweet, you got it covered. Say you want something savory, you got you covered. Let's talk about the baklava for just a moment. How many different types of baklava do you guys offer? Is it almost like a 20 different kind of baklava? Now, I have to ask, is it a homemade? <laughs> it is, yes. Oh, do you make it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Me and my so, wife. Wow. Oh, first of all, I don't know if you guys know this, but I want you to take a look at this. When it comes to baklava, it's all about the layers, right? So what yes. classifies a good baklava? Uh, first, you know, I mean, homemade always different, especially like, you know, I mean, with the uh, fresh nuts mm -hmm. and also uh, the, the syrup, you know, I mean, or honey, you know, I'm mean, using for that. We're using uh, rose water honey syrup mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I mean, always fresh. Uh, as, you know, I mean, you see, you know, I mean, a little bit everything, uh, even... Uh, Turkish coffee cheesecake. Wow. Yes, it's, you know, I mean, it's made with the uh, Turkish coffee and a little espresso. And uh, we have like, I mean, varieties as, uh, you know, I mean, say like uh, some hummus, mm -hmm. uh, fresh falafel. Uh, this is uh, shawarma mania. This is the classic shawarma uh, of Middle East. Okay. Yep. And then, of course, you got the fries on the side with the shawarma uh, sauce. So before mm -hmm. we dive in, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about your Turkish coffee. I'm gonna, t I've already, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I, I try to wait to taste for things. I've already had a sip. Everybody at the station knows I only have one cup of coffee. I had a tiny sip of this and I am just wired. <laughs> as um, we're gonna bring up the boxes so we can try the, the baklava, but as we're trying, what's in this Turkish coffee? Uh, this is uh, the Nutella Turkish coffee. Ooh. Uh, this Ooh. is a uh, fresh ground Turkish coffee uh -huh. with uh, cardamom spice, uh -huh. and uh, it's got like uh, milk. Mm -hmm. You can you can choose you know I mean you have milk like dairy or non dairy, and uh, the Nutella chocolate. Uh, so <coughs> as I'm having the Turkish coffee, we're gonna have this baklava. Now you said we've given the anchors the pistachio and walnut. Yes. Uh huh. Bon appetit. Yeah. Just the pistachio one. Mm -hmm. This is good. Guys, what do you think? Oh, they're not together. Nice and flaky. Those are, mm -hmm. are so this good. I wish we had some uh, of that Turkish coffee honey. here. Yeah, yeah it's good. Rose honey. Mm. And Hazel Marie, okay. I know you, I'll I know you bring mentioned. I'll you back some Turkish coffee. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I know you mentioned it's about the layers with the baklava. And I was telling um, Dr. Brown here, that's the first thing I noticed when I picked it up are all the nice layers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're nice, flaky. Yes, yeah. the layers are just so beautiful, and they're nice, and they're flaky, and they're mm -hmm. full of flavor. Now, for more information on Restaurant Week, because it's not just cello that's a part of it, 28 restaurants are a part of Restaurant Week. Go to our website, wfxrtv.com. Bon appetit, everybody. Joe and I are going to finish enjoying our Turkish coffee and baklava. All right, Hayes Marie, well, thank you so much. And, of course, you can always go to WFXRTV.com to get more information. Well, a cup of that Turkish coffee would probably sound pretty good right about now, especially... Yeah, my Folgers isn't doing it. I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what? I might need a little bit more of a pick-me-up at this point, but what we're looking at as far as your forecast for today, it is going to be chillier outside, plus windy, so make sure you're wide awake before you head out the door, but make sure you're dressed warmly.